I'm here with my Dash Mini Waffle Maker and a bag of Fruity Pebbles. The question is, will it waffle? Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So in addition to the Fruity Pebbles, I will be using one egg and about half of a teaspoon of baking soda. I would use baking powder if I had it, but I don't have any, so I'm using baking soda. Let's see how these come out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up these Fruity Pebbles. That's what they look like. They smell very fruity. I have this mini food processor that is an attachment for an immersion blender. So the immersion blender hooks up here and then there's a mini food processor down here. I use this every day. I'm measuring out a half cup of the Fruity Pebbles. And I'm gonna add these to my mini food processor. Put the lid on, and I wanna process these until they are a powder or a flour. And that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna add the egg. And I'm gonna add the baking soda. And let's process this again. And this is what it looks like. I just plugged in the Dash Mini Waffle Maker. The blue light is on. Once the blue light goes off, we can add our batter and see if we end up with a waffle. The blue light has gone off. Let's open this up. And should I spray it with some cooking spray? I just sprayed it with some coconut oil cooking spray. Now let's add our cereal batter I'm using a spatula I was trying to get all the batter out of the little food processor this looks good let's shut this Notice how brown the batter is. I'm gonna cook it for about four minutes. It's rising a lot. I wonder if I use too much baking soda. It has been four minutes. Let's open this up and see what's going on inside. Look at that. That looks really good. I think it might need maybe one minute more let's shut that and let's cook it for one more minute okay it's been another minute let's see what's going on now let's say this is done let's unplug it it's very exciting i grabbed a plate and a fork This looks beautiful. The waffle is deflating a little bit after it came out of the waffle maker, but that's pretty normal. You can kind of see some of the colors from the Fruity Pebbles. If I serve this to someone, I don't know if they would know it's Fruity Pebbles, although they would be like, why is it kind of green and pink on the sides? So let's see what happens when we cut into this. Ugh. Cuts like a normal waffle, but whoa, whoa. Check out the inside. The inside is like, it's like blue or green. It's like a greenish blue. That's crazy. It has a really nice texture. I'm gonna tear off a piece and try it. It tastes like Fruity Pebbles. I'm definitely tasting a little too much baking soda, so I'd definitely cut back on that. If I made these again, I'd probably only use maybe 
a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, but they're really good. They're actually not very sweet at all. I would definitely want to add some syrup to these. So I don't have syrup, but I do have honey. So I'm just gonna try a piece with some honey. When I think of Fruity Pebbles, I think of a really overly sweet breakfast cereal. And this waffle is not overly sweet at all. Yeah, it's definitely good with some kind of syrup or honey added to it because it definitely needs some more sweetness. Or if you wanted to, you could probably even add a little bit of sugar to the batter, maybe like a teaspoon or a tablespoon, depending on how sweet you like your waffles, which is very, very surprising to me because I think of Fruity Pebbles as being very, very sweet to begin with. But um, yeah, for some reason, this one didn't come out very sweet. So I guess the answer to our game is yes, it will waffle. Fruity Pebbles will make a really nice waffle. All you need to add is an egg and a little baking powder or baking soda, and this is what you end up with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see if more things waffle, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.